Trial Balance Report in CodeJig ERP summarizes debit and credit balances in each account used by your organization for a period of time covered by the report. In particular, the report presents the following data for each account. Opening debit and credit balances, debit and credit turnover, closing slash ending debit and credit balances. Accounts having zero balances and zero turnovers do not appear in the trial balance report. If certain accounts have zero opening and closing balances, but debit and credit transactions took place in those accounts during a given period, they will appear in the report. The report fetches data from the analysis of the transaction journal. In the basic trial balance report, all accounts are organized according to the structure of the chart of accounts by accounts groups, account subcategories, and major account categories they belong to. In other words, accounts in the initial trial balance reports are grouped and displayed according to the hierarchical structure of your company's charts of accounts. Total balances and amounts are displayed at each level of the report hierarchy and at the grand total level. If no data is available for certain levels, nothing is displayed for them. While moving to sublevels of the report, total amounts and balances are broken down into the amounts comprising of the final total of the higher level. We will show you how to generate a trial balance report. In the header area, provide a date range and a name for the report. To generate the report according to the indicated parameters and predefined report settings, click the Build button in the toolbar area. The initial trial balance report calculates and summarizes. The amounts are worked out by summing the original values using the sum function. The summarized amounts are presented in your system currency. In the basic trial balance report, the data is grouped by account. By default, Higher level grouping is enabled for account grouping to organize accounts by major account categories, subcategories, and groups according to the chart of account structure instead of just presenting active accounts in the form of a list. As a result, a multi-level hierarchy is formed with links between levels being of the parent-child type. Active accounts are displayed at the lowest level of the basic report. To see sublevel details in the generated report, you have to drill down to lower levels. The default grouping settings are defined in the rows section of the basic customer balance report. To define the groupings, the fields have been added by which data in the report has to be grouped by rows. However, you can change the predefined settings and choose how to group the data by yourself. To do so, click on the Customize button. To add fields for grouping, click the Select an Option box and then select a field by which you want to group data from the list of options. The list displays fields from the selected report type, which you can use to group data by rows. To remove fields, click the cross icon next to the field you wish to remove. As with groupings by rows, in the Columns section, you add fields by which you want to group data. The set of fields available for grouping data by columns is the same as for grouping data by rows. Use the Values section to view and customize the default summable fields and summarizing methods defined for them. Now, click the Build button to rearrange their grouping. Once you are done, click the Save button.